Hey guys, it's Justin here, and today I've got the unboxing for you of the new Beat Studio 2013 second generation. The first generation was released quite a few years back, in conjunction with Monster and Dr. Dre. They did actually prove itself to be very popular, however a few weeks ago Beats had announced a new Beat Studio that proves to have much better sound quality, a new design to it, and in my opinion it actually looks pretty cool and some of the new features do seem pretty interesting as well. It does ship in three different colors, black, white, and red, and we should see it coming in more colors in the future as well. So some of the new improvements to the Beat Studio 2013 is that it now has a built-in battery that claims to last up to 20 hours. It also has a battery fuel gauge, auto on off, two sets of cables, one that has a remote talk, adaptive noise cancelling technology, and also Beat's acoustic engine. As you may know, a lot of people did actually complain about the sound quality on the previous beats, saying that they're really muddy, bass heavy, and although the bass is still a priority on these set of headphones, Beats has really wanted to improve the sound quality in general. Another improvement that they have made to the new Beats Studio is the carry case. I gotta say that the carry case is still as solid as the one in the previous generation, but where there is a change is the actual looks of it. It looks a lot like a pill, very smooth, very refined look, and I am actually a huge fan of it. They've also included three different sets of cables. Of course, the red cable looks very, very nice. I'm a huge fan of that. They have one standard cable that just has your 3.5 millimeter audio jack, a cable that also has the control talk and the microphone, and also one for micro USB charging. They've also included a USB to wall charger in order to charge these set of headphones, and again, I really like the design of this piece. Of course, with these shiny set of headphones, you're going to get quite a bit of fingerprints and dust, so it is also great that they have included a microfiber cloth. Last but least, you've also got your instruction manuals. So now that we've got all the accessories out of the way, let's go ahead and take a look at the headphones themselves. As I said, they are available in three different colors, both black, white, and the red I've got right here. In my opinion, I think the red does look pretty nice. The white kind of hides the fingerprints and the black gets fingerprints very, very easily. But the red just seems to stand out more, so I decided to pick this up to show you guys. So taking a look at the bottom of these set of headphones, you've got your micro USB port and also your battery indicator and also a light to tell you if your headphones are on and off. On the bottom you've also got your headphone jack right there so it's great that they have a detachable cable and like I said, if you just plug in the cable these will automatically turn on. On the left side of these set of headphones you can tap and hold on the Beats logo in order to mute them. Another difference you will notice is the ear cups. They do look a lot like the ones on the Beats Executive, however I do still think they are quite comfortable, but after quite a few hours of usage you will definitely notice they do get a little bit hot. But aside from that, here is the unboxing and the quick first look of the new Beats Studio 2013 second generation. I am definitely looking forward to testing out the sound quality of course, while the design looks very nice and I am a huge fan of it. These will set you back at $2.99 and they are available at Apple stores now. But other than that, I will try to bring you guys a review as soon as possible as I know you guys are all anxious of what I think about these set of headphones. And if you'd like to know some more information about this product, be sure to check the links right under the like button and hit that while you're down there. Other than that, I'll see you all in the next video.